what does this um, new contract mean for women and um, and and women's basketball? What does it say about Arizona in terms of the nation for women's basketball? Well, it says that the University University of Arizona is committed to women's basketball, is investing in um, in women's basketball. I think that you know, for many years, I think if women's basketball has not been a focal point here at Arizona. It's been like definitely afterthought has not had a lot of success since Joan. So I think, um, you know, when I took the job at Arizona, I was the lowest um, paid in all power five. So I think that just to go from that a total transformation to after five years to just see what Dave has been able to do um, and President Robin. So just it says a lot about the future and what they're willing to invest in. And I think that's the important thing. Can you can you take me through the the process and, and when your name gets mentioned with a Baylor and and you have to at least contemplate it and you know how did that process go and and uh, you know and, and besides the obvious why did you stick with Arizona? Yeah, so I love Arizona. Um, I, you know, this is a place where it all started for me. So it started for me at seventeen, and um, I've never been at, like someone who's only motivated by money. I think money always comes. I've never, like, as a player, I've never chosen a place, like, just because of more money. So I always think about the people. I always think about my happiness, my quality of life. It's like, all those things are really important to me. So um, for me, I, I, for me I, I love Arizona. I love the fact that this is a place where, like, I can write the story. So I came back here. Everybody, everybody said not to come. And everybody said it's a bad job. I don't think it was a great job when I took it. I think it, it was not a good job. But it meant so much to me because I was from here. Like, this is where I played. So I took it, and I think I've made it a good job. And, um, you know, with the players and the staff and all the support I have. So, like, I write the story here. I, I don't um, have to follow behind someone. Like, we kind of do it together. We leave our legacy and build it. And my challenge is to build it into a powerhouse and, like, pursue a, a championship. Um, I think at a lot of other places, you know, when you go behind a legend or I think that those that's hard because you're always compared to someone else. Like, like going behind Tara would be a really hard job because Tara is incredible. She just won a championship and you're always compared. I think it's a similar situation here at Arizona. If you go behind Luke, like it's a really hard thing because you're compared it on the court, off the court, all those things. So it's challenging. And it's doesn't mean it can't be done. I don't, I don't feel like there's anywhere I couldn't go and be successful, but it's where you want to be, where you want to live, how you feel. Like, I love the community. I feel good. I have valuable friendships here. My kids are happy. So like, it, it's not only money because if it was all about money, I wouldn't have been here for years. Like, it's not the first time I've been talked to. So um, I want to do something special here. Um, I think when you do something great and you do it the right ways, I think the money and all the other stuff comes. So um, that's not the most important thing that I'm thinking about what I want to do with my life and my happiness. So um, kind of along those lines, I mean, this is the first time we've talked to you since you got those three transfers. Um, can you just kind of take us through what, what you're expecting them to bring to the program? Yeah, so when I think about um, how we've had success, um, our transfers have really been like so valuable for us. So you think about Ari, you know, I recruited Ari before, Ben do, I recruited her before at a different school. Um, and then, or I recruited actually Bendu here and then she went to a different school. So she chose us a second time. And then I look at like TT, Dominique, those are players that really helped to build this, the, the start of all the success. And so when I'm thinking about ways to make us a little better and like fill in the gaps and I look at the areas that we weren't great in, in the tournament, like we had a tough um, time inside. So when Stanford went to, they made a conscious effort to pound the ball inside, we, we had problems. So then my thing is like, okay, what can I do? How can I fill that void? So I think Araya Copeland is a very, like, she's a necessity. And we haven't had a pound the ball inside post player. And then look at Coy. Coy's really versatile. She can score. She can play the 3-4. That's an area that I felt like we, we haven't had a whole lot. Um, you know, we really miss Dominique because she played so many roles. But we haven't had like a really big time scorer in that spot. So Coy's that, I mean, Coy's a really good player, versatile and can fill a lot of um, roles for us. And then Taylor Chavez, someone I loved, you know, playing against, well, I didn't love playing against her, but I loved her game. I love the way she was scrappy and she was a great shooter. 
Um, she was fearless, tough. And she was someone who I actually tried to recruit when I first got here. She didn't give me the time of day because we were awful. <laughs> now she's like, I'd love to play for you. I was like, oh, things have changed now. Now you want to now you want to date me, right? Before you thought I was ugly, right? It's kind of like that. You think a guy's ugly, then you go back five years, you're like, whoa, he's fine, you know? So that's kind of how uh, Taylor was with me. So the fact that, you know, and what I loved about Taylor is when I talked to her, she was like, coach, I was watching you, coach. And like, she was kind of like excited when I called. So that felt good. Cause I was like, I'm excited about you too. And I feel like after the tournament, I felt that more. So it wasn't like having to sell this vision like I did to everybody else. You know, Ari, I had to say, Ari, we're going to try. We're going to find a way. I don't know what it looks like. It was very different. So it's a totally different tone. So Koi filling a huge void. Taylor can play that two, that one, can shoot it. So multiple guard positions for us. Smart, um, fearless competitor, worker, and plays good defense. And then Araya, just a bucket inside. I mean, if you look at Araya in the SEC, 14 and nine, one of the nation's best field goal percentage shooters. So I think she's going to dominate Pac-12. There aren't a lot of players like her. So I think um, um, just those are three great additions. And I'm looking to add one more. And one more, I think we're very close to getting. Uh, so I think we have a good shot. And um, I think with her, I think we have a chance to be a more complete team than we were last year. Now there's all kinds of factors. There's, there's um, you know, chemistry and different things. But I think on paper, we'll be more talented because what I'm looking for is for our team to have balance. I don't want like one player, you know, th- you know, Ari was so good, like one player, 25 points. And I want like one player, 14, one player, 16, one player, 13. I want four to five players in double digits. So that'll be the kind of balance we're looking for. Because I think to be a championship team, you have to have that. Do you expect your style of play to change at all? Because if you look at, you know, having Kate and Araya and Koi, those are all, they're, they're to me, those are like four and fours and fives as opposed yeah. to three. So, um, and then you don't have Aerie as well. Yeah, so it's not going to change like our identity and because I think we were one of the best defensive teams in the country. But obviously some of it will shift because Aerie's not picking the ball at full court. But then we have Shana. Shana can, can be just, she's not there yet but she can be just as good defensively if she really wants to, because she is one of the best athletes you'll ever see. She's a freak athlete with so much ability. So we just have to extract that from her, but I think she's very capable. Um, the where we'll have to change our style a little bit, we'll teach Koi our system, just like we taught Trinity. Trinity could not spell defense at Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech. She did not play defense. She did not know how to. I remember watching the film saying, oh dang, we gotta work on her defense. And I remember talking to her about it and saying, you do not play defense. But it wasn't like something that was emphasized there. Offense was emphasized. So she got so much better defensively because she wanted to, and she was bought in. So work on Koi's defense. Um, and then after that, you know, Araya. Now is Araya going to go out and full court play? No, she's not, but she's a bucket inside. So with her, we'll probably um, plug the area, contain the paint a little bit more. You know, she's the back of the press, which doesn't matter because the big girls are the back of the press anyway. So we'll use her in different ways, but then on offense, you got a garter inside. And I was, you know, I was just with the USA basketball and I was talking to Don and some of the South Carolina players. They were like, oh, she's so good. They were like, I, you know, um, Aaliyah Boston was saying, I couldn't move her. You know, it was, it was kind of interesting to hear that. So I'm excited about her. I think she'll give us a totally different look inside and just the post presence. Um, yeah, you mentioned uh, adding another transfer. I mean, what do you see as your team's biggest needs and, and how are you going to deal with having uh, 15 or 16 scholarship players? I know, I know you've said in the past that it's really difficult to keep that many players happy. Yeah, it is. I think um, the magic number is probably 13. It, it is, but I think where we're at and what we have a chance to do, I think we can be very special. Um, I think we can compete at the highest level. And I think just because of the way our personnel is working out, it's just going to be very competitive. But I think that's a good problem. I think when you're building a championship team, you're going to have to compete. And they should be deep at every every position. I think that if I was adding one more piece, it would have to be a really good piece. And I think the point guard position. Because right now, you know, we have Shayna, um, who's a point guard who can play the one, two. And then we have, I think think one more point guard would be great because Taylor can play the one, two, or three. Um, you know, Anna Gret could play a little bit one, but doesn't really want to. So I think having one more point guard, I think great teams have three options for point guards. And then so in our position, in our like system, a point guard, two point guards can play together. So it like Taylor can play with a new person or Taylor and Shana can play together. So um, I think there's a, there's a really good point guard out there um, that's available. And someone I'm, I'm pursuing very heavily. And I think 
um, we'll have a really, really good relationship with. So I, I'm really going to try really hard to get her. I think she'd be incredible in our system. And, uh, you know, I'm pursuing her as best as I can.